I'll be using a variegated um, stripy yarn. This is the yarn. If you're interested in UK. Okay. And a corresponding crochet hook. 4 millimeter crochet hook. Gather your materials and let's go on the crochet journey. Make a slip knot and chain ninety chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five. When you've when you've chained forty five, which is your halfway point. Attach your yarn marker or any marker that you're using and carry on till you get to 90. With your 90 chain stitches, make sure that you your um, chain stitches are not twisted. I want to walk into the back arm, so when I was crocheting, I make sure it wasn't too tight or too loose now the back arm facing up I'm going to join I'm going to join there With my yarn, slip stitch, and you've joined in the round. Chain one, yarn over, go into the same space. Chain one, and into the same space, make Three double crochets. One, two, to make a double crochet. You have two loops on your hook. Go into the space, pull through three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You have made three double crochets. Now chain one, two, yarn over. Into the same space, make three double crochets. One, two three and chain one after chain one yarn over skip one space and go into the next and make three double crochets one double crochet two Three. chain one and skip one space and into the next after that make three double crochets carry on making your three double crochet chain one skip one till you get to your halfway midpoint and I'll show you how to make your second point almost at the midpoint so Yarn over, go into the next and make your three double crochets. One, two, yarn over into the space, three loose, pull through two, pull through two, and chain one. This is the mid or halfway point. This is the mid and halfway point. And Take that off so you can see what I'm doing. That's the yarn marker. Okay. Skip one. Skip one. Yeah. Yarn over into that loop. 
the back hump make three double crochets chain two three double crochets for your point that's two three chain one two yarn over into the same space make one two three and chain one then yarn over skip one yarn over yarn over and skip that's one two make three double crochets and carry on all the way around till you get to your beginning point chain one which is till you get to till you get to here and i'll show you what to do next this is the this is the final chance that you have to check and make sure that there is no twist in your um poncho check all the way and i've checked mine so i'm gonna yarn over i'll go one space there chain and i'm going to slip stitch into the top go space there so i'm going to slip stitch into the top of each double crochet second double crochet second double crochet third slip stitch and go into the middle and slip stitch and I'm gonna make a chain yarn over go into the same space this is my first point so I'm gonna make three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the same space to make my point that's three one two chain stitch into the same space make three double crochets If you want, you can attach a yarn tail, but I know my points, so I don't really need to attach. Chain one, yarn over, and into, from now on, you walk into the space, the gap between the three crochets. Go in there and make three double crochets chain one that's two three double crochets chain one yarn over into the next space three double crochets chain one and carry on all the way till you get to your halfway point I come into the midpoint make three double crochets into the space before the middle one two three chain one yarn over into the midpoint make your three double crochets chain two three double crochets for your point chain two three double crochets one two three chain one and then make three double crochets two
three chain one and carry on walking all the way round till you get you here you make three double crochet till you get here you make three double crochets chain one and then i'll show you how to join as you go along we're coming to the beginning point and we're going to make three double crochets in there this is a very repetitive pattern so it's very good for a crochet beginner you'll find it very easy to to make if you follow the pattern true now slip into the top loop top top now this is where we make our um, midpoint what i'm going to do is i'm going to slip all the way till i get here reason being that if i carry on this way i'm going to have a seam that is going to be too obvious and i don't want that but you can if you want stop here and make your three double crochets chain two three double crochet chains two because when we're coming all the way around we're still going to do it and then we'll cover this part top there And there and one more into the middle there we go chain one and make three double crochets that's two and three chain one yarn over after two rounds of your granny square this is how your poncho will be looking like so carry on all the way around with the same pattern of three double crochets chain one and when you get to your midpoint which is two midpoints you make three double crochets into the midpoint chain two and three double crochets three carry on all the way around and when you get here i'll show you what to do join and slip stitch into the top one two three and in the middle yarn over and make one chain and in there make three double crochets one make three double crochets make three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the same space for your midpoint that's two chain Two, three, chain one, and carry on all the way around till you get to the midpoint where you'll make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then you walk all the way around and come back to your starting point. And you slip stitch one two three into the center and make three double crochets so this is what you need to do all the way till your poncho is as big as you want it to be a couple of points i need to make mention when you make your um chain stitches and you join in a round at the beginning put it round your neck or even at this stage you can still put it around your neck 
make sure that you're happy with how your poncho is going to lie if you're happy with it then you carry on growing and making your crochet poncho third round coming to the end of the third round make three double crochets chain one and slip stitch into the top three double crochets and into the center as well and chain one and make three double crochets and carry on building your make three double crochets and chain two three double crochets in there after three rounds this is how your poncho will be looking like easy point after three rounds after one ball of yarn 100 grams of yarn this is how your poncho will be looking like well done for journey this far after 30 rounds you've basically completed the main part of your poncho but let's take this to another level okay after slip and join in pass your hook through yarn over into the space the pointy space pull through and make two double crochets chain two one two and into the same space make two double crochets you have one two double crochet two chain stitches and two double crochet yarn over two loops on your hook go into the next space these are the spaces that's where we'll be working on for now and make two double crochets one and two yarn over into the next space we're going to make two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochet into the same space this is the pattern you need to carry on all the way round till you come to your first joint let's go that again the next one we're going to make two double crochets yarn over to loose on a hook we're going to the next space we'll make our two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochet into the same space yarn over into the next space two double crochets yarn over two loops on your hook into the next space we'll make our two double crochets two chain stitches two double crochets yarn over two double crochets yarn over make your clusters of two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets into the same space now carry on walking this way till you get to nearly the halfway point which is here where you have your point and i'll show you what to do when you get there coming to the halfway point so we're carrying on with the 
same pattern two double crochets yarn over and there we make two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets in there yarn over two loops on your hook this is your point so you make two double crochets chain two two double crochets and you carry on all the way around here we make two double crochets yarn over we make two double crochets chain two two double crochets yarn over and then we make two double crochets next one two double crochets chain two and so on till we get to the beginning or where we started from which is here when you get here you will have to make two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then you slip stitch in there and then i'll show you the next round coming to the beginning yarn over this is the last space before joining so i need to make two double crochets this is how it's looking so far this is what we've done two double crochets to the top of the beginning slip stitch yarn over and make chain stitch yarn over into the same space make a double crochet yarn over two loops on the hook and top of the next double crochet make a double crochet you have two double crochets now yarn over into the space in the middle make two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two two double crochets yarn over top of the next double crochet make a double crochet the next one top of it make a double crochet so far we've done double crochet double crochets and in here we made two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets then we go round to the other side and make one double crochet on top of each two next double crochets okay yarn over and you make double crochet there and double crochet yarn over double crochet double crochet yarn over in the two chain space make two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets yarn over double crochet on top of the double crochet double crochet again double crochet into the next so all you need to do is wherever you have double crochets go in on top of it and make a double crochet and where you have the two chain space make two like here now make two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets into the chain space that's the only difference and you carry on all the way around and for as long as you want your ruffling to to be double crochet double crochet it's beginning but you won't be able to see it 
at the moment but when you have enough rows you will see the effect of what you are yeah over double crochet again and double crochet yeah over into the chain space make two double crochets two chain one two and in there make two double crochets yarn over top of the next one two three four on top of each double crochet make a double crochet and and carry on for till the end of this row then I'll show you and carry on till the end of this round okay coming to the end of this round yarn over top of that double crochet make a double crochet and another double crochet in the next one you need to slip stitch and join the round chain one yarn over into the same space make a double crochet yarn over the next make a double crochet carry on making one double crochet on top of each double crochet till you get to your two chain space where we're going to make two double crochets two chain stitches two chain stitches and two double crochets and then we carry on all the way around and come back and slip stitch then we make double crochet on top of each wherever we have our two chain spaces we make two double crochets two chain stitches and two double crochets you'll just start roughly and I'll show you at the end 